So like this, just plugging shit in. Shitty, shitty, shit. Right, no doubt. It's not even going to work that anyway. But we will see. I'm a bit lower down today. You don't see it my nose. Well, you can do anyway, no less. Hey, I think I've got some balloons and never blow them up. Oh, bollocks. There. Oh, what have you done there? Click, clicked off. Oh, are you checking it's all good? Yeah. Well, we've got somebody on at least. Oh, nobody will come in then. Kira and Kim, is it? I love that. Fell off now. Right, get sound turned off. Oh, actually, leave sound on. Oh, yeah, we're using the microphone for a change. Works. Jesus Christ. For how long? We don't know. I know, it'll only work for a bit. Right, just let us get up, set up two seconds. I do need to say, Andy is poorly, and I've been poorly. So we might not be the most energetic no, tonight. No energy whatsoever. So we'll try as best for you. We'll try as best. Yeah. So yeah, I've at the weekend I was in hospital with uh, kidney stones. That's what I've just thrown at Andy with me little wristband from from the hospital. Your intensive and, band from hospital. <laughs> and you've literally not stopped being sick for about a week. Poo. Oh no, not sick. Why did I say sick? I don't know. I meant poo. Pooed. Yeah, just not stopped pooing. I'm gonna blow these balloons. Not eating for five days. Pooed a lot. Yeah. So we've got plenty of food for you now for his birthday celebration. I'm going to stuff it all down you and just make you spewing <laughs> shit all over. It's going to be fun. So if you see me disappear really, really quickly, I do apologise because I have to run to the toilet. Oh, apparently I'm not allowed to boo. Uh, boo? I'm not allowed to boo. I'm not allowed to uh, bully you. Your birthday. Oh, Kira's given us five already. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, thank you. That is really appreciated. Really looking forward to seeing everybody in... What is it now? What are we on? A week and a half? Nine days. Nine days? That's mad. Is it nine or ten days? Something like that. <laughs> week on Saturday. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> you, know, you know the uh, the balloons that are wrapped up for my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> These are them. These are them. <laughs> so, I can't believe... Yeah, someone's just put on their... Um, Happy birthday, guys. Five years has gone so fast. And it has. It's so true. Very fast, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. So, um, what I want to do today is just go through some memories. Memories. What you got? I love it, I love the smell, but what happened there? That could have blown up in my face. Oh, That's like getting cheap fireworks from knockoff shop. <laughs> It won't be the first time I've exploded in your face. Mm. Don't. Uh, let us know about the sound, by the way. And if you're having a bath, really enjoy your bath. Hey. Um, inside joke. Oh. So, um, I don't know why I've just blown a balloon up and now it's just there. It's, it's pointless, isn't it? What's yeah. point, there's no point blowing these up at all, is there? Not. Where are they going to go? I've only got one as well. Oh, no, oh, no I've got a pack. A pack I'm not blowing them up. Keel over. <laughs> <laughs> fill it up with spew. Sick balloon. I might take one of them to the in a bit and fill it up for us. Hey up. Hey we've up. got we've got an Indian on. Well, that, no, hey. I don't mean like he's an Indian. I mean he's in India. I don't think we've ever had anyone from India in the live chat. We haven't. That's really good. Have we had anybody from India on the premieres? I don't think we have. No. I think we've had people. We I know we've had people watching in India. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever... I've spoken to a lot of Indians today. I've seen more penises today than I have ever needed to see in my entire life. Ever. I've been making a... Right, does anybody... Has anybody heard of a meagle? I'll let see what people say. What the first thing that they well, say. Well, know what sort of people have got on here then. Yeah. Hi, Matt and Andy. Happy fifth birthday. Uh, that's from Annie Smith. Uh, Kyra's put excited to see us. Um, yes, people. Eagle is a meagle. Basically, is a, a chap a freak show. Well, you don't know. You haven't even been You're on showing it. Showing me to the well, yeah. I've, I've showed you like five seconds of it. Um, yes, a meagle. Many lonely dicks. That is so true. So I was doing a video today where I wanted to interact with people and ask them some questions. So I thought, oh, 
Lots of YouTubers use Omegle. Absolutely fine. Get on there. I literally have seen half of the world's cocks. I, I've never seen, I, I've seen two things which I've told you, which I'm not talking about on camera, which no. were absolutely unbelievably bad. Don't do it. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to, really, really bad, disgraceful stuff. I thought you were vaping then. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> You've got vape out. No, not, not here. I've got, I've got a midget's tampon now. Jesus Christ. What's gone wrong with these? We've gone damp over now. I don't even know if I want to pull that now. It's going to hurt my hand. I can't do it. Put it in your teeth and pull. Get out of here. <laughs> but Mike's crashed. So here we go. It's going to be one of these days, isn't it, where it goes off, comes back on, and all that shite. Thanks, uh, Kyra. And everybody else, about 15 messages beforehand. Yeah, people are saying, yeah, not, well, not being mean, it, to be fair. So, um, yeah, let's start at the beginning, back where it all began. What was, what was the first video? Was it the 50 cent rap or was it the metal detecting video? I think it was metal detecting. I think it was, weren't it? We did like a, did we do three parts while we were away in Scotland? I don't know about three parts. But there, were, there were definitely three parts. I'm sure I'm going to have to look now. No, do Scotland Old Trip and Roy. Yeah. If the sound, by the way, if the sound's gone... Funny. It's because we're probably working off that. Do come to India someday. We've got many haunted places here to explore. I've been to India and it is amazing. I went to Kerala. I've been there twice. It's absolutely unbelievable. I would definitely, definitely go back. If I get the opportunity to, I will. Uh, what did you say before that? Not a lot. So, if you don't know, it is five years exactly to the day as well, isn't it? today yeah 27th yeah because we did the the meet up as a bit of a five year celebration but we wanted to do something actually to mark the day we'd always said we'd do something today um although i did we did say we'd do something big for five years didn't we wait five years or ten thousand you said for ten thousand subs you climb a pyramid i was gonna climb a pyramid but then people started getting put in prison for climbing pyramids and i didn't really fancy that i think when we hit the ten thousand as well we were in first lockdown yeah, so there were no way of, I might have climbed a Toblerone or something instead. <laughs> so, <laughs> Although the pyramid box up in Scotland. Yeah, the, um, who was it for? Queen Elizabeth's husband, no, Victoria's husband. What's he called? Brian. It's not called fucking Brian. What's he called? Albert. It was, it's a memorial to Albert. Mm. So a lot of people don't know that. No, I didn't know a pyramid up in Scotland until I saw a uh, fighter's video. Oh, yeah, I've known about it years. It's, um... You're going to tell me, yeah. Well, what am I going to do? Go, oh, there's a pyramid in Scotland. Yeah. What do you mean? Why would I do that? Have a conversation. No, because it's on, is it, I want to say Balmoral. It's in the grounds of... Where is it? It's somewhere, like, it's one of the major, like, the royal states. estates. It's in the grounds of that. It's a visitor attraction. It's been there forever. Oh, never, never heard of it. Yeah, there's like a walk to it and everything. It's like this is the thing. Sometimes you know when these you see these places on. on Curious videos. Balmoral. Is it Balmoral? Is it Balmoral? I thought it was. Yeah, you see on these videos where people have put, and I'm not having a dig at fighters at all, but oh, thank you, Spencer. Um, <laughs> Scroll down and not up. Um, yeah, where people go, oh, we found this and. It was like hidden in the forest and it's like a fucking walk that everybody's been on since 1922, do you know what I mean? So it, uh, that's not a dig at fighters in the slightest, that's just, you see a lot of videos mm. like that where it's a generally known fact that it's there and people make it out that it's something amazing that nobody's ever seen before. Don't get me wrong, it's good that people are then seeing it because it's one of them things, isn't it? But yeah. That's all there's some cool bunkers in Plymouth from the Navy. I'd like to go down to the south coast, but it's a long way and we normally go out exploring on a Monday night, don't we? Yeah. We're not tomorrow. We're going out on a Thursday day. I know. That's if you're up to it. You may not get a video on Sunday, because if you're still feeling shy, then we won't end up being just going. Just this at the minute. Do you know what I'm sat playing with here? Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Thanks, Kim. Um, oh, yeah. Alexander Silver in Fife first video. So it was that the hammered coin we found yeah. that were like a bit missing out of it. Yeah, it's toenails. I've cut my toenails on while I was sat here earlier on. So, we're cutting cut with pliers. 
Yeah, not quite bad. Right, let's go through a few people. We haven't talked about people yet. Hi, Sue. Glad to see that you're oh, here. Oh, Sue's on. Just, just saw it last minute. Well, Sue, why are you saying happy birthday? You are part of you're this. It's your birthday as well. It's your birthday too. Um, I got fingered in the forest. <laughs> Thanks for that bit of information. Um, let's have a look. Leanne, East Coast Paranormal. Hi, Adam Selfridges. I would like your shops. Uh, Kyle, your tail. Um, let's have a look. Julia. Simon Wilcox, I've already read his name. Granny Annie, there's quite a lot of people on that I recognise the mm. names tonight as well. Amanda Mittelson, April Wilcox, we know April, hi April. Um, so, my video is playing up. Well, maybe move to DVD or something similar. <laughs> well, Blu ray. No doubt the tapes have been used that many times now, they're going to go a bit funny. Oh, Kira sent us a fiver. Oh, Kira. Thank you. Thank you. Five pounds for a top five years. Here's to many more. You know what? If we get to, like, how old are you? You're in your 50s. 56. If we get to 40, 40 years on YouTube. I'll be dead. You're gonna be, you won't be dead. You won't be dead. Another 35 years? I'll be 90. Yeah. And? If I get to 90, I'll be bloody lucky. You'll get to 90 easy. You're fucking indestructible, man. You think? I look yeah. weird today. <laughs> I've got like a stiff neck now looking at you. Um, let's have a look. No, no, mine not a part of the shops. It's just a funny coincidence. Do you want to shame? Um, your dicks. I know I'm Scottish, but I don't have VHS. You've upset your own country there, haven't you? What, I've upset the whole country? Yes. Because everybody in Scotland has VHS, is that what we're saying? That's the because of Nixon. Nick, what? Nixon? Nixon. Oh, they've nicked him. <laughs> Nixon. I thought you were talking about a former American president. Nixon. President Nixon. Nixon, no. I can't think what his first name is. What's his first name? Not Gerald, that's Ford, isn't it? Um, I, I model me about that. That's Reagan. Yeah. Richard. Richard. Richard Nixon, that's it. On the bog, just having a poo, no bog roll left. Oh god, I hope there's some bog rolling here. Uh, there's, I brought some baby wipes. And the, um, if you're watching the person that deals with this place, they're those biodegradable ones that fall to pieces, so it's not going to ruin your toilet, so don't worry. Um, 40 years and Andy can be a ghost scaring you in your adventures. To be fair, I'll be dead before you, I think, so. I think that's a good idea. Well, yeah, you coming back and haunting me. Yeah. How do I donate? Now, this is something I wanted to tell people about. I don't know. I feel a bit cheeky about this. We get loads of donations on here. I'm going to put a little sign up. You can donate on here, and it is really, really appreciated, but YouTube steals 60% of it. So if you send us £10, we get four quid out of it, which I think is scandalous. So if you want to go through paypal.me slash beepers. We'll get it all. So you can do it that way if you want instead. Um, they are really, really bad for nicking our money. I'm going to put a little sign up saying it, but then I thought, am I just being cheeky asking for people to send us through PayPal? So a lot of other people do it though. A lot of other YouTubers do it, or they do it through a different donation bar at the top. So it's up to you. You can either press on the little thing in the corner with the dollar sign, or you can do it through paypal.me slash beepers. Um, can't wait for Hillsborough Saturday up the Owls. Yes, I cannot wait. I almost decided to go to the match this weekend, but have you been automatic or no? It's, it's playoffs, but um, because Rotherham are going to be in bloody automatic by the sounds of things. But um, no, we won against Fleetwood last night, so three two. So we've got a good chance. Rudy, thank you. Um, let's have a look. Not cheeky at all. I know, but you know what? I hate asking for money. I hate asking about it. I know we always go on about Patreons and stuff like that, but at least we can give you something back for that. Yeah. And I know people will say, oh, yeah, well, you, you make content and that's giving back and everything. I still feel cheeky. Even now, after five years of asking for stuff, it still feels a little bit like begging or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So um, let's have a look. Uh, I think you should cook Kim, Kim's meals in your own way. I, You came up with that idea, didn't you? And I'd like to do that. I yeah. just don't know how we'd do it, how, where we'd do it. 
like a... Oh, there's a kitchen in there. A kitchen in there, we could do that one, aye. Mm. Then we just clean up after us. Oh, yeah, because we're, a kitchen's there to cook in, isn't there? Yeah. So maybe we could, maybe we could come and cook in the kitchen in here and do a kin's... But we could literally do it step by step with her, like she's there with us. So anyone, if you don't know what we're talking about, on our third channel, we made a video the other day about uh, Kim's... Kim, what's, her, what's it called? Kim's cooking? Kim's kitchen. Kim's yeah. kitchen. I don't, I don't feel like it's called Kim's oh, kitchen. No. Kim's summer, anyway, and she makes... Cooking with K. Co K Kim, who the fuck's Kim? It's because it's Kim that's just running up in here. Cooking with K. Yeah, cooking with K. What am I fucking talking about? Who the fuck's... Why am I saying... I've never heard of it last, the last one yeah. anyway. Yeah. So basically, she makes food and it's horrendous. That's and we did a, a reaction video to it, didn't we? So, um, but yeah. So get across to Deeper Bounds Park and check that video out. But we are going to do something um, similar. I'm having a beer. I'm having a celebratory beer. Cheers. I've brought you a pina colada, but I don't know. Oh, look. Can you hear it again? Thank yeah, you very thank much. you very much. Do you want lottery or what? I know, Andy in his 90s uh, jumping security fences on the run from the bombies, in, bombies with his Zimmer frame on his walking stick. God, if I've got both of them, I mean, I'm sure of that. A Zimmer frame and a walking stick. Or oh, is there a Zimmer frame to walk with a walking stick and beat stuff off? Yeah, but I, I don't want to know about what you're beating off, you, you tramp. Let's have a look. Um, Kitty, Kim, Karen, who the fuck is? No, my brain just went, absolutely went then. Um, I feel like we should eat some of this party food, but you can't, can you? Can't. It'll, it'll kill me. It'll oh, kill thank me. you very much, Amber. Happy Beeper anniversary, Matt and Andy. Lots of love oh, from Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee. I know. Yeah! <laughs> um, let's have a thing. Where? <clears throat> Day one, when we first started and we were in Scotland and we didn't even know it was going to be a channel, first of all, would we have expected to have done what we've done? No, I thought we'd no. fall out. You think we'd fall out? You know what, me and you weren't that close. We weren't. We weren't at all. I feel like you were more friends with Roy and I were more friends with Roy. But we weren't, we weren't together. We weren't just us. Because yeah. you, know, you went out detecting with him a lot yeah. without me. And I went out with him without you. But we didn't really do a great deal, just us. We didn't. It was weird. It were. And then it came like us the walk that we did for my daughters were before we started that, weren't it? Yeah. We? Yeah. So we were talking then, but it really was never just us two. No. It was always involving Roy. So first of all, thank you to Roy for everything you've done. Oh, we've got a new member. Oh, and Heather Hannon, thank you very much for the donation. Really, really means a lot and it helps hugely. Um but yeah, we weren't really that close. And I think it was only when we went out for the first explore, or not, maybe not the, yeah, the first explore, and then the one where we went to in Doncaster. Oh, yeah. Where Roy started to get pushed out a little bit, and then our friendship really started to grow. And from there, it just kicked off. Got to house. No, no, fucking doctor's house. No, the figure. The farmhouse. Oh, suicide, suicide farmhouse. farmhouse. So you fucking have you not, you? I don't class that as Doncaster, that's why. It is Doncaster. It's part of the sea place, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's Doncaster. Yeah, but I'd class that as... The sea place. The sea place. Yeah, but... Not Doncaster. That is... You live in fucking Doncaster. No. Yes, you do. I live in the sea place. You live in Not Scotland. in the C-U-N-T place. You live in Scotland. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this. There was a battle back in fuck knows when, when um, Scotland came and took over Doncaster and it never actually got retaken by the English. So technically, Doncaster is still Scotland. I'm part Scottish anyway. Oh, I know you are. So, yeah. let's have a look. Don't hold that against me, will you? Hey, it's a good thing to be Scottish. And there's some people I know, there's one person in particular that is Scottish and she doesn't admit to be Scottish and I think it's really disrespectful because it's so be much better to be Scottish than English. Um, let's have a look, let's look at some of these things on here. Uh, can't wait for my chip butty and a pint. Yes, so if you are coming up to the meetup, uh, you'll be able to get a chip butty and a pint for a fiver. I think that's quality that. 
I mean, how much things are these in? Let's see if this works. Yes, it did. Um, oh, that's my cinema. Um, yeah, we how much things have gone up recently. Beautiful, like for a pint. Yeah, that's it. Well, they're talking about by the end of the year, pints are going to be like seven, eight quid in a normal yeah, pub. Yourself. I'm not bothered. I don't really often go out drinking, so I, I don't really know. But let's have a look. Happy birthday, boys. That's DJ, D, DJ KSA. I thought it was KSI at first, but you know, I'm well there. Um, how is Roy? Roy died a couple of years ago, um, and uh, unfortunately, he's, uh, he's still dead now. Yeah. But... You just forgot to bury him. Yeah, he's just walking dead at the moment. Um, well, not even really walking, is he? He's just sort of like hobbling and dragging one leg behind him dead. It's like Cosimo, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, can't wait for it, but you can keep your chip, buddy. I'll just have the pint. I'll have your chip, wine. buddy. Pint of wine. Um, can you repeat PayPal name, please? Yes, of course I can. It is paypal.me slash finders beepers so Roy's not really dead for everybody that's now or people that are putting oh no he'd be proud <laughs> he's still he is he, he is he comes around every so often I put some photos on it the other day he's not dead we just say he's dead because it's just easier and I like this man I'm it your feet? I'm your shoe from the table. Oh, I thought coming in no what lights would be on won't they mm. so I feel like I need to eat something shall I have a bun have a bun which bun shall I have? Um, a chick or a blue one? A chick. A chick. Okay. I'll have a chick with feel really nice as well. Mr. Arson. Mr. Arson? Mr. R says, you guys are dicks. Why are we dicks? I don't know. Don't oh. Know no, because he's dead. Because right, he's the person that said he'd be proud. You don't having... waste food. No, you're having a bun too. Oh, that sticks on me. Oh, that's nice and cool as well. I'll come in here so then I'll freeze it. And I'm getting really warm. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's still like stuff under it. I don't know if it's jam. It's like, um, it's a little, little hat. <laughs> Got a little hat on. Can't help but think of Roy's ginger bird nest pubes. Oh, dumb. It was me that saw them, weren't it? It were horrible. You were out with him on your own. Mm. It was like, shalom. That's exactly what I was thinking a second ago. Yeah, it were like, this is the pubes here, like this, like this though. Why are you not looking? Like this, that's the pubes and that's what I could see. So, congrats lad, lads, love, love, love you both. Matt, give us a call if you want to be, be per birthday bash. That's how, sounds a bit like an orgy to me. <laughs> what sort of bash? I've got one of them waiting for me when I get home anyway, hopefully. Um, oh. Popper. We've not done many poppers. That sounds like we're using. Got it. We've had snows of them here. <laughs> oh dear. It's like a dwarf's thumb poking out of a bush. It's true. Quite true. Yeah. Very true. So, what were we talking about a minute ago? Um, oh, how we met up and stuff. So, we met up through work. We weren't really as friendly, and then we got friendly. Roy, that sounds like we got together and stuff, and we weren't friendly at first, but by the end, no, we were yeah. like lovers. <laughs> um, then, sort of, Roy started. To, Roy did corn and explore with us, didn't he? He did um, that place I fell downstairs where I ate a squid. Oh, he created one too. Why? What's the other one he came on? Dr. Near Bradford Waterworks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show him around that, didn't we? Yeah. Um, why, right, Simon, 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 why can't you step into Hillsborough? I'm sure you put this the other day, and I wasn't sure then. Is that because you've got restraining order on against you? Is it, are you a Sheffield, Sheffield United fan? That made me feel sick. What could I be in this coleslaw? It's all of these. Do you like coleslaw? Do you like coleslaw? Yeah. Hmm. I do actually. I feel like we're missing out on it. Don't put it all, I'm gonna bomb in these clothes. Okay, I'm not put it, I promise you, you'll only put a little bit. Come on. Don't put it down, I'm gonna go in these clothes. I know, that's fine. I'm keeping it tidy so we don't go on floor. I'm not bothered about the floor. Yeah, okay then. 
Kom hier, move hier heen. Ik kan niet gewoon maar niet. Wil je hoor? Ja. Oh, oh, Meen blij. Oh, ik zo koud. Wat is het gewoon in daar? Ik heb een ego. I know. Ik kom hier uit de Freeze. I've got three layers on, believe it or not. Oh, Simon, totally understand. I'll leave that one be. I remember that day. Really, really, really remember that day. I was where all the ambulances were going past is a Liverpool fan. Mm. I totally understand. Oh, it's not that bad. Look, there's not much in there. I've, I've not been that bad to you. If we massage it in, it won't go in your clothes. <laughs> it won't go in my clothes? Yeah. Oh, well, I was about to lick that and I'd die. Why? Cold slow? Yeah. Um, everyone says they feel sorry for you. Because they do. I even got you a cake. I know, I can't even eat it. You like trifle as well, don't you? I do. Mm, that's good. Um, so, where are we up to? Tell a bit of story, because I feel like I've done that with talk. Um, we'll get rid of this. It's just an... Oh! <laughs> Oh my lord, oh, I've got it in my phone. I really want to lick my hands, but I can't. Do you want some baby wipes? Yeah, please. I'm going to get you some baby wipes. Yeah, so it was Scotland, Scotland first road trip, weren't it? Oh, actually. With Roy. Is that alright? Oh, that'll do. Yeah. Carry on. And that's when we did the 50% gap. Yeah. And that's when we, we watched, and was it Anthony Joshua? Age yes. fight. And Roy was, oh god. Roy was absolutely shit faced. Literally. Me and you went for a curry, didn't we? Yeah. And he said, oh, don't want none of that boring muck. Don't want to go for a curry. And all next door to pub. Yeah. Well, he went to a strip club, didn't he? Pole dancing club, because he tried to get us to come in it in we afterwards. No, not me. Well, you tried to get me in the strip dancing club. I remember somebody did. Yeah. Roy well, went next door and we sat with loads of people. And then when we come out, there was a strip club across Yeah, like, I remember saying, oh, there's fucking loads of uh, young lasses with yeah. tits out. I remember that. Yeah. So that's why I think I'd probably got that in my um, and you won't go in. He won't go in. Oh, your Liv says uh, be nice to you, Dad. Yeah, you've got to be nice to me. I'm sorry. I'm sure I can't see this because I've got cream all over my screen. <laughs> I hate hummus. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like a bit of hummus, but that's going to sting as well. <laughs> oh, it's like what's coming out of my ass. <laughs> So I I did that just specially for you. Um oh, right, in your, right, in your, right in my ear hole. You know what? It's not the first thing I've had me ear today as well. I had a ra oh don't be sick. I've had a raspberry in me ear today. Somebody put a raspberry in me ear. You're gonna be sick. Oh it is literally like my white car. <laughs> oh dear. It looks like anisol cream. Oh this is awful. I need that to get it out of my ear. Yeah, okay. oh, it's full. It's full, yeah. <laughs> it's full. Oh. oh, I can't hear. I've got a full chickpea in my ear. <laughs> there, look. <laughs> oh, oh, God, it's going further in. How do I get it out? <laughs> How do you get chickpea out of your ear? <laughs> Google it. <laughs> oh. I don't know what to, right, I'm going to put beer in me, but I've had, a, I've had issues with beer in me before. I got really, really drunk once. Oh, oh it's making me feel lopsided. I got really, really drunk once, and I got a build-up of wax in one of my ears that I wanted to clear out. So I thought, you know you can get that stuff that you put in and fizzes inside your ear and cleans it out. It's like little drops yeah. that drop in. I thought, why not? Like Otex. Yeah, I think it is Otex, yeah. I thought, why not put beer in my ear? Why not put Semtex in your ear? And, right, it went in through... Because I've got perforated eardrums as well. <laughs> it's like in every orifice you could possibly find. It's awful. Oh, dear. So, yeah, anyway, it went in through my ear and down into my jaw, and it was really, really painful. Oh, so, anyway. Obviously, I'm a clean, but I just bought some on my head. Oh dear. It ain't all over the floor down there, is it? No. You won't fall. <laughs> oh, close my eyes! Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be fun.
Jaj! Du ved, jeg spørger dig op. Åh, det er... Åh! Det er ikke godt, men jeg... Åh, nej, jeg ser kostet. Mm. Oh, I can stay away in here. Yeah, we need to probably stop doing this now. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't let's see. So I get, you want a bit of baby wipes oh. easier, or are you alright with that? Oh, God. You've got to let me out travel in my ear, and in my eye. Oh, oh it's on my t-shirt. Oh, 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 dear. Right. Are we going to stop with calling the troops now? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take the audio off. Oh, it looks like a maxillary poo explosion. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, you're probably better getting your hoodie and use it as a towel on the way over. That would be a really good idea. Oh, it looks like I've come down here. Oh, no, we need oh. to clean that up. Oh! Um, is it still on my face? Yeah. Come on, it's here. <laughs> let, me, let me take this off. Mm. Oh, dizziness is setting. Oh, get the baby wipes while you're over there. They're on that bag. <laughs> go, go up to camera and show them. I can't see. Someone's put, I'm calling the Yeah, call them, bullying. With the baby wipes. I can't get around. There's too much crap. Matt, have you had a haircut? Yes, I've had a haircut. Um, people can't afford a meal tonight and you're wasting food. Awful behaviour. You know what? If this food weren't um, ones that have gone off, or pretty much gone off, then I would feel the same way but it's from a shop called the factory shop where food gets sent through when it's about to go to waste anyway so yeah that's how i can uh, do that that's how you can justify it oh i need to get this out of my ear oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing oh god it's proper in my ear like i can't get it out oh this is right, right jack no, no, not hijack. It's not hijack. Oh, oh, it's making me ear go for. I can't do anything about it. Um, it's all down my neck. Right. So I'll carry on the story while Andy's getting uh, getting cleaned. What are you done on your trousers? That's disgusting. Need to clean on at all. Um, <laughs> I can see you two ending up in A and E tonight. Not be the first time this week. You explain that to me, eh? So I'm to get a chick out of your ear, all. How do you get a chickpea? Now, what have you, come, what have you come, come to this evening, Matthew? What's brought you here? Chickpea, oh, me here. Look, though. It's coming out of my ear. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can hear again. I can hear again. We're back. We're back. I don't think that works, though, when you're trying to get chickpeas out of you. You said, hold your nose and pop your ears. You're just going to... Right. Anyway. <laughs> they put this like a porn up video. <laughs> oh, oh, it's making me feel, yeah. Alright, shift some, let's shift some of this food. Let's get it out of the way. I did bring a bag, but it's in the bin now, isn't it? There's a bag there. Um, right. So, yeah, the story we were telling. When we went to, um... So, this part in the, in the video, we've got up to like month one. <laughs> yeah, no. And we've been here like an hour. <laughs> where, where were we? Where, what town were we in? It was. Berwick? No. When we watched the fight? Oh, in the fight, I, yeah. I think it were Berwick where we watched the fight. Um, oh, dear. Well, we went up to uh, Scotland. Yeah, we did go up to Scotland, but then we went, came down to Berwick, didn't we? Yeah. So we were in Berwick and we went to watch the Anthony, Anthony Joshua fight versus um, Klitsch, what, Klitschko. I can't remember. It were, weren't it? It were Klitschko. Were it Klitschko or that big giant bloke? No, it was Klitschko. So yeah, we went to watch Anthony Joshua against um, Klitschko in the boxing. And at this point, Roy was so drunk that he tripped. And I literally caught him mid-air, didn't I, where he, he were about to smash his face into the floor and he would have hit it with some right force. Oh, it would have had his eye out of his specs. Oh, thank you, Emma, for becoming... Uh, looks like someone's jizzed all over your beard. Yeah. Your first time. No. Uh, Oh, Herbeck say, nice to see you on. Always good to see you here. You've been here a very long time on this channel. And you know, there's a lot of you that have as well. What's Jason put? I had a peanut stuck in my ear. Put some chocolate in. Came out a treat. 
You know, I bet it came out quite a long after a long time though. A bit of a marathon to get it out. Oh god! Why is there still stuff like that coming out? It shouldn't even look like that. Seriously, I've been watching everything again whilst I've been off sick, and you two are the best tonic in the world. Thank you. Because you know what, we do put a lot of effort in, don't we? We do. Right, these are all stupid. These not like, a lot of clean up. Clean up. It smells <laughs> sick. It does smell it. It does it. Yeah. No, but these these things are a lot of just us fucking about and having a laugh, aren't they? Like the lives. But the amount of actual work that goes in behind the scenes and the the editing and oh, thank you. You know what? You are too good to me. Hundred percent too good to me. Because oh, that actually feels really bad. Let's not start this again. <laughs> Really nice. You should be on proper telly. Oh, is I don't know whether proper telly is dying now. It is. I don't think that normal terrestrial telly, like Sky and stuff, are still doing well. But everything's internet based now, isn't it? It's not all streaming. Yeah, you know, it's not like you one, two, three, four, five anymore. Um, what explore scared us the most? We've had this question before. It depends what you mean by scared. If you mean like woo. Then, I remember like, oh, you mean like dodgy? Ah, yeah. mm. um, I was going to chuck that cake at you, but you know what? I'm not going to. Don't waste a cake. Not microwave, no, it's not. It's not oh. radiator. You know what? I have brought up here. One second. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> oh, why are you. Why did you actually, why did you just get, smell it? Don't even smell. Oh, don't really. No, wait till I've got one of mine. Oh no. Go, go, the rank. Hi Jack, I have said hi Jack. Um, let's have a look. Don't think you wore that hoodie the day after I met you Matt. I don't, don't think I wore that hoodie. Oh really? Um, would have loved Matt to have done a five year panels each challenge. Well we have got a challenge coming up that involves Burying something in Andy's garden, and if you know, you know. Um, yeah, I don't watch from 15 million miles away from chat. Oh, no, it's ridiculous. It's, it's gone quite quick, to be fair, on there. Um, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. I might have a bourbon. Um, carry on talking while I eat my bourbon. I can't remember where we got up to. We got up to the triple wear, and we no, we got up to. Our first explore, which was and you've missed a fucking load down your face. Come here. Hello. Come here. How clean you were. Well, the first one was Suicide Farm, I've said. I don't think it was, was it? Or was it um, Bradfield? Thornsea. Thornsea. That's yeah. the one. Just <laughs> lean forward and turn a bit. You've got a fucking half a ton of coleslaw on your back. I can't see me back. Oh. There we go. Right. Um, I love Suicide Farmhouse with the ghost figure in, in the background. It was freaky because we saw nothing. It didn't freak us out because... Oh, oh dear. Come here. Oh, this is bad down here. I'm not cleaning inside you either. There we go. No, it's just... Really there. Yeah, we didn't um, have, we didn't see anything, so it what didn't feel freaky. It was just a nice summer's day, where it was lovely that day as well. Lovely, yeah. And you could see for miles across the the valley, down across the sea place and everywhere, couldn't you? So you could see the castle, I think. Couldn't yeah. You? So, but <laughs> couldn't you clean yourself up for like all night. <laughs> no, this is it. Welcome to the live. Watch us clean ourselves. Um. So then what What was the next big thing that we did? What was the next... Would you say Belgium? The trip to Belgium. Yeah, the four, four or five day France, Belgium. Yeah, Holland, you know what, that Germany. was a great trip. Loved that. It was really, really good. Do you know why it was a great trip? Don't get me wrong. It would... I, <clears throat> I've loved every other trip since. But the reason that that one was good is one, it didn't seem like work at all it weren't like it weren't really was it no but i mean like say now we're under pressure when we go somewhere to make sure we get videos 
regardless of what happens. Yeah. We've got to get them. With that one, I was so relaxed, and we went into every single place, and there was only one place out the whole time we were there that we didn't get in, which was the underground bus place. Tunnels. Yeah, the bus tunnels. Um, oh, I've missed a bit there. Um, what comics are on the wall? Yeah, it's just Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, X-Men. Not really comics, it's wallpaper. It's wallpaper, yeah. We, uh, we went for the 90s boy bedroom look. Um, but... Yeah, I think that rate, we were so relaxed. It was such nice weather as well, weren't it? We didn't have a, really any bad weather while we were away. No, one big storm. Oh, and that, that we were in the car anyway. Yeah, we, we drove through to Holland. We, back. we drew, drove around to Holland, didn't we, from Germany? That's when you did the um, bit of music video. Yeah, in the thunderstorm. It were that bang. I've never seen it rain and thunder like, and lightning like that before. We were back here as well. So, yeah. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what a couple of people are saying. The RIP drone, yes. That was the trip where the first drone died. Yeah. And it's Sanatorium de Basil. Oh, I was so pleased I managed to get it back out of the tree, but then actually it was no good. Well, somebody said they would have fixed it for us and it's been in their yeah. house ever since. Um let's have a look. Um Is that your only fans page name, lads? Yeah. There's a few people that have asked for that. Uh Sake. Matt, you look like Mama Bear taking care of her baby cub, cleaning him up. Um, the challenge way to find you away from home from Scotland with no money is one of my favorite. You know, that's still one of my favorites. You hated it, but looking back now, it was good. It was fucking good. It was really good. So literally, that broke me. I know it did, but I think that's not what just was mentally, physically. I hit this place here when I got back. <laughs> really? I couldn't walk, you remember? Really? Oh, yeah. I just couldn't walk for about three or four days yeah. properly. Yeah, but it was like, I think because we we hit rock bottom, we felt so low, I think that made the video just so much better. Because yeah. you saw the real us, no laughing and joking and having each other to bounce off. It was literally ourselves and that was it. We've got another video coming up that I want to... Fuming! You, I was so angry. I was so <laughs> fucking angry. TC still says that to me as well. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of people like someone's put the challenge from Scotland was heartwarming. It was, it was brilliant. I loved it. You hated it. I loved it at the time. I loved it. Even when I felt shit and low, I still was enjoying it because I like that sort of thing. We have got a challenge coming up to do with us being by ourselves. However, it's not really the same. We need to do that. We need to do that at some point soon. Um, I think we, we could do that relatively easy, couldn't we? The one with the... You know, I don't know what I'm talking about. We had a big discussion about it. I can't remember. We only need to order that. one of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah? We need to do that soon. I think that'd make a cracking video. Your moustache is yellow. I'm not surprised with about four ton of hummus in it. <laughs> it's like you bleached it blonde. Like that that picture that you took in Oh, I seen Romania. You... Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Um Yeah, we both proper cried, didn't we? Yeah. Cried, cried and cried. I think it's because we were physically tired as well, though we'd not been to sleep or anything. Well no, I had. You hadn't there. I was determined um, not to. That's what worry you it. Um, I think the scariest explorer is the seven foot giant smashing up the place looking for Matt and Andy. One the one cop will shout mega aggressively. Seven foot. <laughs> I know what you mean, Mark. Um, when I was in the swimming pool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, what would you like to see more second channel videos like? Not necessarily exactly like that because I don't think you would ever do that exactly like that ever again. But maybe team against team would be good. Yeah. I think you would be fine if it was me and you against somebody else. Yeah. Because we'd have each other to bounce off and like what a lot of people don't know. Oh, I don't know if they know or not. That day I spent a good hour on the phone to you to stop you from having I was a sat breakdown. In the subway. I sat at McDonald's. So I was at Lim Services. Sat, sat there, or miles in front of you in Glasgow, I were nearly, nearly in Manchester, close enough to Manchester really, isn't it? It's not far away. Yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? Not far. Yeah. Um, 
So I was sat in there going, oh, let's, let, let's just calm down. Just go in, go in Glasgow, walking up and down, up and yeah. down, standing, got piss wet through, had to change my clothes in the bus stop. I think the main mistake you made was going into Glasgow. I, would, I tried to stay away from the centre of towns as much as yeah. possible because... I, who's going to give you a lift in the centre of a town? Not many people. It's not. There's more people well, there. There's a slip road going onto a motorway. Yeah. We were standing, and nobody was giving me a lift. Yeah. It, it, it is hard. No, but I, there were times where I stood there for ages and ages and ages and ages, and nobody seemed to come. But I got myself in a petrol station that was next to a Morrison's. Mm. So there was pe people constantly coming in to get a Morrison's, and they're filling up at the same time. And that's why I was quite lucky. But. Um, let's have a look. Um, what about the day in the life videos of Matt and Andy? Well, I was going to do a week in the life of a YouTuber. Uh, that was something that I was I was filming last week, and then I got kidney stones. So that was a shit video. Literally, oh look, I've gone for a run. Oh look, I've done some filming. Oh look, I'm in hospital. That was literally it. So well, I'm going to do that again at some point. Um, I think. It's a bit harder for you to do because it's like, oh look, I've got up. Oh look, I'm at work. And it's the same place. Yeah. So um, let's have a look. Let's go through some of these. I'm just go back a little bit. Yeah, the Paris Catacombs, Kira. Yeah, it was probably one of my favourites. I think. Yeah, Paris Catacombs is really good. I think the the company, well, most of the company was good. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed. Shouldn't have said that, should I? Um, the company was good, everybody was brilliant, um, but I think the place was brilliant. But then it was coming out, getting on those scooters, and oh, it was so good, it was such a good experience. I was so tired when I come out of here, I thought I just can't be asked, I can't be asked to be on a scooter, you know what yeah. I mean? But once I got on there, it was brilliant. Just one sec, Michelle McShane, it's all you need to do is go onto the top bar on your internet and put in PayPal dot me slash finders beepers all one thing it's like forward slash finders beepers um what's greg put uh mum likes you would always sit and watch your videos and suddenly oh no yeah greg i thought so with you um obviously it's it's awful that that's happened uh sorry that i missed the message uh, i just don't know if you want to read that no it's the you yeah. you read it um let's have a look Team up again, it would be better. YouTube versus another channel. I, I'd like to do it against a big, whether it be an ex, it doesn't have to be an exploring channel either. Anything, yeah. Now, yeah. it'd be good to do it against maybe Bucky and Dan. We've talked about a car race with Bucky and Dan to the south of France. Yeah, we're still going to go like a gumball ride, aren't we? Yeah, we're all going to have a car, um, whether it be our own cars or whatever, and we're going to have to do similar to the thing that we did where we had to do different tasks when we we're in the car yeah but we had to get to somewhere um and you had to tick off your tasks on the way and go up against dan and bucket someone else and someone else and it didn't, never seemed to happen but it, it, the only problem is well there's a couple of problems fucking hell it's still in my ears out yeah, it's grilling look at that you need a cotton bud i do right, i'll just push it further in i need a scooper not like a pooper scooper. Um, yeah, the problem is it's getting timing. It's so hard to get the timings right with everybody else and organise something. And it's got to be a big enough, like, it's got to make enough money for every channel to make it worthwhile, unless it's a charity video and then there's a, there's a reason to do it. Yeah, you know I mean, but you've got to have that buy-in from everybody and it's really hard. And it always seems to be like us that all try and organise stuff. It's like so, the boxing thing. Yeah, so a lot of people might, well, some people might remember this. I was supposed to be fighting somebody that was an urban explorer YouTuber. He's now a, a failed urban explorer YouTuber and a bit of a tosser. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to be fighting him. Um, six foot two, about ten years younger than me. And it just all fell through, didn't it? Because yeah. we tried to put all the time and effort in to get it sorted. He just couldn't be bothered. He literally couldn't be bothered to do it. And he was he was he it was his idea to start with. Yeah. He organized or tried to organise it and then put everything on me and said, right, get this sorted. 
And I'm like, I'm not doing it all. So I got fight lined up, didn't I? Yeah, I can't even remember you were supposed to be no, fighting. I can't either. Oh, fucking hell, I'm still half my age. Yeah, like literally 25 year old or something like that, weren't it? I was trying to do it on, say, like weight and height and stuff, didn't they? So, oh, people are saying that the audio is bad. I'm guessing we're just working off the phone. There's not much you can do. You two had a mark and a little paranormal. You know what? I would, what's that? You need to buy a car for no more. Oh, right. Urbex say we're already on that. We've bought a car for £150 and we're going to drive it to Morocco. We're going to drive it to Marrakesh. That is a video that is coming up uh, at some point. <laughs> well, we'll make it first. Well, well yeah. It'll be a video. It will be video coming up. But no, I'm saying it's, it's definitely happening. I think that is taking priority over going and exploring in a different country at the moment. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, Miss Dick. Thank you, it really, really make, makes a big, big difference. Any donations make a massive difference to us. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something we're gonna do. It's something that we really, really wanna do and see if we can get it all the way there as well to Marrakesh. Because if we fucking get to Croydon and it breaks down, <laughs> I'm going to go mad. So, uh, Matt, you know a few urban explorers, etc. You used to go to college with someone called Carl. Oh, unabandoned urbex in, it's not the same person. No. Oh, from Sheffield. Could be. Mm. Mark, ha I need you to answer. Has he got a big beard? And he was he from Stocksbridge? Because if he was, we know him. we'd know him and we don't really want to talk about him. Um, I'll say, should do the drone hide and seek competition with Ghost Theory. Their video of the drone hide and seek. Oh, yeah. I watched well, that. that. What? Have you seen it? No. I thought I'd shown you. It was very good. But one, you need to be able to fly a drone properly and not smash it into two, into things. And two, you need a drone in the first place. Yeah. And we've lost that. So, um, just the echoes, some sound um, deadening on the foam walls uh, facing you. The foam's actually to stop the, the sound bouncing back and be echoey. However, we... Um, Sent a birthday donation via PayPal. Happy birthday, lads. I'll have a look at that in a sec. It's on, my, it's on that phone, so I can't look. Yeah, and Kira's dropped a PayPal a gift. Oh. Well, a PayPal and a gift. Let's have a look. Let's see what it's saying. Visit Oli Altok in Croatia if you get the chance. It's an abandoned prison island in Croatia. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see what these have come through. I'll have to look at that. Oh, Clayton. Kyra sent us a tenner. Thank you. And then we've got. £4.55 from Avon. Thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciate it. And the thing is, we'll get every penny of that as well. Whereas if you do it through the donation thing at the bottom, we'll lose 60%. So it is really, really appreciated. Uh, that's paypal.me slash findersbeefers. Paintball in the dress. I'd do that. We've talked about this before. I want to go to Strines and see if we can book the whole lot, like the whole place for two hours or whatever and have a proper like thing where we do the games and hunt each other down and stuff like that i think that would be absolutely fantastic mm. but we would need some camera crew of some sort because there's absolutely no way we could film it ourselves we could have we could have one gopro on us a gopro on the gun a gopro on the gun facing your face a gopro on your chest facing that way yeah. but then you'd need them all around the place as well yeah so you need the camera don't you yeah okay. but the only then it gives away where you are. Yeah. It's about these things. But saying that, we have got probably 20 GoPros in there, in that drawer over there. So we've got stuff that we can do it with. Um, what, uh, um, Mark, I've done an explore in Poland. I did one in Warsaw um, in an abandoned gas works. It was scary as fuck. Yeah. Me. Thought I was going to die. Um, I'll say, how about this for an idea? Uh, you get a budget and some volunteers and do a room up in an abandoned house the best you can, kind of like a 60 second makeover, but a shit hole. That'd be really good, actually. It'd confuse some people, wouldn't it? If you go into like one that's fucked, yeah, and just strip one room back, repaint it and everything, and, and like get a cheap bed off marketplace and stuff like that, and <laughs> Furnish that's, it. That's a really good idea. Who, who said that? Beach Binder. That is a really good idea because you can, right, this wallpaper went up in about 30 seconds. He's 
fucking good at wallpapering, so you could get some wallpaper up for a start. Yeah, that's been nice wall, but it can't be like brick. Well, yeah, true. Yeah, but we can find one that's got maybe one good room. Yeah. We pick our room out of the whole house and do it in there. I think that's a really good idea. The only problem is it's the outlay for all the stuff. This is the problem we've got at the moment. Now, I keep seeing this because I feel really, really bad about it, but my wage as a full-time YouTuber, which Andy currently isn't, is taking all the money from the channel. So anything like this is helping us make those videos because I, it, it's a struggle at times, isn't it? It really is a struggle at times. Right. But we will get to the point where then we, we get loads of money yet. We are not, you're not back being a full-time YouTuber yet, but we'll have lots of money. So then we'll go to do stuff. And then you'll go full-time and we'll have no money yeah. again. So it is what it is. Why no jelly and ice cream? Uh, that's not a fifth birthday. I'm going to get ice cream. I've got a gato. It's over there. Um, one sec. Uh, I've, I volunteer as a tribute. Uh, you're welcome, mate. It's my kind of job to do this sort of thing. YouTube, Instagram, Korea. Um, one sec. Oh, yeah, so we have got a GoPro that we're doing a, I need to talk about this, at the meetup next week, we're doing a an auction. We need to work out what we're auctioning, and I'll put them on Facebook Follows. or Instagram so people know what the lot numbers are and stuff like that, and we'll get people to bid on them. So we've got um, a GoPro, which has got the raw footage from the hide-and-seek. I don't know whether it's my camera or your camera, because there's two, isn't there? Yeah. Um, it's got the raw footage from the hide and seek, which nobody's seen before. You get the camera, you get the battery and the um, the memory card with it. Um, so you get all of that. That'll be one of the items. We've got a bag down there somewhere with all the... When we were talking about Belgium a minute ago, about exploring in Belgium, the T-shirts that I was wearing, potentially T-shirts that you've some. gone. Yeah. yeah, we'll sign those. We'll, they can be... And they're like... If we do go massive on YouTube, like we get a lot, lot bigger, this is the sort of stuff that, like, if you're a collector of that sort of thing, is the sort of stuff you want to keep, in it, really? Probably we should keep it, but it is what it is. Like, I'm happy. It's just one of them, aren't they? Yeah, stuff that were printed out just to go away. Yeah. Nobody else has got them. Andy's red dress, yes. That's still in the drawer. Andy's red dress is here, along with stay, dodgy stains from... Um, food and stuff that he had put on him. So this will be signed. Oh, it's even got your your birthday boy. Birthday boy badge on. Yeah. You can have that as well. So yeah, it can be signed. That'll be one of the items as well that we do it. So we'll work it out. It's going to be auctioned off at the live uh, that is going to be at the meetup. So obviously, oh, thank you, Mariam. Everybody that's at the meetup can like li literally bid live and then we'll have somebody that's monitoring, monitoring this as well for bids. And whoever wins it, oh, then. Thank you, Emma. What? Ooh, thank you, Lisa. What's Emma? Uh, Andy just wants to let you know you look really handsome. Love you in that grey grey shirt. Well, it's oh. a jumper, but yeah. It's. You know what? I said that you look good today, but that's because you're um, you've been poorly and you've probably lost a couple of pounds. Very much stone. That's all though. You're both blinking funny as feck. Here's some money towards some new shorts for Matt. That's all of his seem to have holes in. It's true. I, there's, oh, I've got new ones on today, although they're absolutely filthy. Um, but some of them I've got little holes in my arse. I don't know if you notice when I'm climbing the ladders. I've got little holes in my arse. Um, I'm excited for the meetup. You know what? I'm excited for it, but I'm scared to death. I'm absolutely scared to death of this meetup. I really, really am. Um, I'm not like you know. People don't know. They, they see. This is the thing. I, I do it the same. When I'm watching a YouTuber, I think I know what that person's like. But I think you don't. don't you wrong, see yeah. that. Like, see how we are now. And don't get me wrong, this is this not fake. None of it is fake. We're not. Like, we don't walk away from here and, like, go on messages and shout at each other. <laughs> Sorry, I've shouted at him today. Um, is it my fault? No, uh, probably not. But, not? no, I was just frustrated that it wasn't your fault. Anyway, um, let's not get into that now. No, but we are still the same. We have a laugh in the car. We still do all the stuff. In fact, same, mate. most of the stuff that is funny, they don't even see because it's we don't film it. And I think, oh, God, why didn't I film why that? Why film that, yeah. So, but, so, yeah, it's not fake, but that doesn't mean that I am 
the sort of per like we go exploring it's just us two you put me in front of a crowd of people and i'm like oh you know what i mean leave me alone go away yeah and like if you like the amount of people recently that have seen me in tesco and like just randomly like the guy that worked in tesco i've seen him twice now in a row um who said hello to me row row three row five fruit and veg <laughs> you idiot the first time that was my t that was my toenail. <laughs> if I heard that drop, how big on heaven was that? I just went like that, and it sort of me. I am. I'm going to try and snap it. Anyway, the first time I saw him, he went like he was stood behind me. He went, I was watching one of your videos last night, and I went, were you? And that he literally just looked and went, were you? And he went, I like watching your videos, and I went. That's good and walked off because that I, it? yeah that were it i didn't really know because whereas you would have had a 20 minute conversation oh, with, when i go delivering I, I i i can talk a glass of ice asleep you can't get rid of me it's um it is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's disgusting i've got bad dandruff yeah well it's not as yellow now um but yeah it's it's one of the things i am quite a shy person and a lot of people don't believe me when i say that but i am you know I am. Yeah. And like, I, I, but if once I've met you once, or once I've met you for a bit, I'm like, I'll talk all day, but if I don't know you, I'm a bit scared. So, um, I feel if any of my tickets were hand, uh, weren't hand delivered. What did I say, Andy? Yeah. Yeah, lives in the same village as me, and you, and like, two minutes from your house, well, not really two minutes, but not far, and you posted them. And a fucking audience, she, she ordered as well. You told me to. Shut the fuck up! No, I didn't. I told you what. So I'm not going to her house. You took some right balls. Um, one sec. I'm good. I can't make the meet up. Look, we're doing a live stream as well. So we we thought about this. We're doing the live stream where we do the a bit of a video, and then we're probably just going to leave the camera running. So until one of the phones runs out of battery. So then you can watch it as long as we possibly can. Um, let's have a look. Um, oh, we met you at oh Joanne. Uh, we met you outside Hillsborough. It was nice to talk to you. I spoke to a few people that night, um, but I think I know we were just crossing the road. We're on that middle bit of the road. I saw you outside the match. So yeah, the people were coming up to me all that night. I don't know what was going on, but it's your face. Why is your face never recognised? You know, I feel like you've got a worm in your eye. Probably have. <laughs> um, let's have a look. My hubby is a Leeds fan. Oh, oh yes, definitely remember you now. Poor man. Um, oh, we've got another Andy's Aging, Ar Aging Army. That's a few tonight. Thank you for that. Simply the goats. Uh, Matt, just as long as he doesn't squeeze your bum and call you precious. Yeah, very true. Um, I'm really shy with people. I don't know. I'm the same. Like I said, a lot of people have said, oh, I don't know whether to come because I've got no one to come with and I'm a bit anxious about coming. Um, I don't like situations like that i don't i don't normally but once you get there you'll enjoy it like there'll be loads of people there and we've they, all got something in common oh. that's it you, like everybody there like we're not going to attack you when you're coming through the door and like make you speak or whatever you can speak if you want to speak come and talk to us but you don't have to just talk to other people you like that we're we're, we're here where do you live because it's just well, literally why i didn't buy a ticket in the end there's still tickets yeah, if I still buy tickets, I'll, buy a ticket. I'll still get it out here. After Friday, if you buy a ticket after this Friday, you'll have to collect them on the door because we can't guarantee getting them through the post. No. So we'll, we'll do it collection on the door. Um, I can't make it. I've got hospital. Well, just get them to wheel you out and bring you around. I live in Dudley. We've got somebody coming from Ireland. Shetland. Yeah, Shetland. We've got someone coming from Plymouth or is it Portsmouth? Portsmouth. Um, we've got somebody that's South Wales bought tickets in um, USA. USA, but they're not coming. They just bought the tickets to be nice. Um, one sec. Um, it's rare you can talk normally online now and have a bit of banter, so it's a breath of fresh air. You know what? We've said this from the start. We have had to rein. I have had to rein you in a little bit with certain things. So many outtakes. Yeah. But most of the time, we're just us. We're just exactly how we are. Because at the end of the day, 
yeah, people might try and cancel us, but if you guys are there to support us and say, look, it's fine, then we're all right. I don't think we say anything ridiculously offensive. If we do, we don't mean it. Well, yeah, I'm like, I, I hate racism and stuff like that with a passion. You know, it, it winds me up. I don't like when people are singled out and made to feel shit. And I don't feel like we ever do that. I feel like we might joke... Generally, the things we joke about are something maybe to do with ourselves anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm fucking dyslexic and I joke about, like, dyslexia and stuff like that. I'm old and decrepit. Yeah, and we talk about old people. Like, so it's, it is one of those things. It's like, people do get pissed off and upset about nothing. And it, it, just enjoy your life. Stop yeah, worrying about sure. it. Exactly. Stop worrying about what people are, like, thinking and... Stop worrying about how someone might be offended. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, the people that could be offended aren't offended. It's the people that think that they could be offended that are offended. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it makes no sense. Um, one second. Oh, look, Laura, I've got an eating disorder. So have I. I eat too much. Um, one second. See, that that could be... That's, People could say I was being offensive there, but it's it is, it's one of those things. It's life. You, like everybody's got little issues and little problems or big problems, and big issues. We've got to deal with. It. We've got to move on. And why not? Let's all laugh at ourselves and each other. It's just one of those things. As long as you're not really hurting somebody and making yes, them Mark, feel, you have to bring your ticket or not get in. Yes, we can have people on the door. Um, that so don't try and come and sneak in because you ain't getting in. Um, but those people will are under instruction that if you have not got your ticket, you're not coming in. Even if your name's on the list, you ain't coming in unless you've got your ticket with you. Yeah. So unless you're on the list that of people to collect the tickets on the day, yeah, that would be the only other time. Um, yeah, your guys' humour is tongue in cheek, nothing bad. Yeah, we don't want to upset or hurt anybody. We never have. That's not what we're out to do. We're just out to laugh at life. I think in the early days, people used to take offence to what I used to say. Yeah. But I think they've got used to it now. Whereas they? now they're more bothered about what I say to you. Yeah. So, um, I'm a scouse with Ted hair. Give it back. Then. <laughs> you shouldn't be stealing Ted's thing. hair. It's us that get done for stuff. And now you. I know you got nicking and thieving at night, but nicking some of his hair is bloody wrong, isn't it? <laughs> You're wrong, hey, hey, hey. Giving Scouse is a bad name now. Nah. Love Scousers. <laughs> Your channel is Auntie Karen. I ain't got an Auntie Karen. I am either. Let's go. Can tickets be bought on the door? No. No, unfortunately not. You need tickets, go on the website. Yeah. Uh, we're doing it, the, the reason we've got to do it that way is um, for the tax man. Um, and also we need to give the numbers to Tracy in charge of Sheffield Arena beforehand as well. So we can't do it on the door, unfortunately, because all of a sudden millions of people could turn up and it could be a problem. Um, but yeah, you can buy them still through the shop. Also, we, w we can sell merch on the night. That's fine. We have got a little card reader, so you can pay on card. We prefer if you didn't pay us in cash, if you can help it, because... It's just going to make our lives a little bit difficult and I'll end up we'll spending it. We'll carrying cash around. We'll spend it all. Simon Wilcox, check out <laughs> Um I haven't received the poster. Um, have you sent... Oh, how do we buy tickets? So yeah, if you go on the website, it's findersbeepers.co.uk slash shop and the tickets are on there. You can buy tickets through there. Um, I'm offended by beards. People have one knowing that I can't have one. From Anna. Oh, you, well. you can. If you go through certain treatments, I'm sure you could have a beard. It's everyone's right to have yeah. a beard. You can have a beard if you want a beard. Have a beard. Um, Louise, if you haven't had a poster that you're supposed to have had messages about it. Um, yeah, send me a address. Oh, deal-breaking question, how much will a pint set me back? I can tell you how much a pint and a um, chip butty costs. I don't know about the pints themselves, but... Can't see it being watching it. It's, a, fi like it's that, a fiver for a pint and a chip butty, so I would have thought it's, it's not going to be a massive amount. Um, Matt had an idea. I bought a large pigeon basket yesterday. I know I've paid for postage, but if you want to bring it to the meet and greet, it would be amazing. It's not me that deals with that. It's Andy that deals with that. They want to get it signed. So unless we've already posted it, which I don't think we have, have we? 
So try and I'll screenshot that so you've got it. Oh, it's Mark. Mark it's not Mark. Mark can say. I'll screenshot it anyway. Um, it what holds it out to you. Bring it. We'll sign it anyway. Uh, what larger are they selling at the venue? Larger what? Extra larger. Double XL. Um, I don't know. You have to ask Tracy. Um, I'm offended by food fights. Gives me childhood trauma. Were you sexually abused by a trifle? Oh, received twenty pound and twenty nine pence from Joyce. Happy anniversary. That's through PayPal. They've paid Thank back. You. Thank you very much. Well, that's really nice. Yeah. So if you do want to donate, you've got one no, just coming through. How oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, if you do want to donate via PayPal, it helps us out massively in comparison to doing it through YouTube because YouTube nicks 60% of our money. So it's paypal.me, so paypal.me slash finderspeakers. Um, let's have a look. Uh, uh, keep it up, guys. It wasn't a trifle, mate. Uh, it was them kid cupcakes. What, cupcakes made out of kids? That sounds a bit dodgy. Um, bloody predictive text. Any um, Swedish whiskey on the night? No idea. No, but we are bringing, I've relidded the oh, snake, venom. snake venom. I'm bringing the snake venom. So, I'm even going to, we might get people from the crowd, if they want to come on the live stream and have a minute on the live stream talking to us, they've got to have a, a snake venom. Oh, but they'll be dead. It's so bad. Um, Scottish birthday parties get messy. Yes, they do. Jim fixed it for me, unfortunately for you. Um, I'm offended by people taking offence. Does that not go in circles then? Because if you're offended by people that take offence, you're then offended by yourself, which then would make you offended by yourself and make you offended by yourself and you just keep yeah, going. You just don't like yourself. Yeah. Um, pin the link at the top of the... I don't know how to pin stuff. Let me try doing it. So, hey... Um, dot me. It's not snake bite, Kira. It's snake venom. Yeah, it's sixty-seven percent. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, not good at all. One second, see if I can do this. I don't know if that makes. I don't know. Thin message. No, I think. I think I'm supposed to have done something to that. Yeah, you drag it off. Yeah, but the, the link won't work, will it? Alright, let me remove it and try it again. Don't know, really know why I'm doing this when we've only got 13 minutes of live stream left. Talk about some more memories. Oh god. Um, oh, VidCon. Just a minute. Webcams chat XYZ. Hot girls and boys video chat. Let's, uh, let's ban them, shall we? Hide user on this channel. There we go. There you go. So where did they pop up from? Jason Ward, my man. Jason, why are you not coming to the meetup? You, Jason, if you want two free tickets, those tickets are yours. Uh, it's at Hillsborough Arena, where Alan Sh next to where Helen Sharias used to run. So you know exactly where it is. But yeah, feel free to come down, Jace. Definitely. Be nice to see you. Um, let's have a look. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is that an ad for the meetup? <laughs> yeah. What? Sexy boys and girls? Yeah. <laughs> PayPal. And for memory talk about the last time you remembered having a full head of hair. Um, about 25 years ago. Probably. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Well, that spammer came up on Ghost the other day as well, apparently. Oh, oh really? Yeah, the box, that's all. Yeah. Favourite bonding moment for us two? Um. We've never had that question before, have we? Favourite bonding moment. One moment, I, I, I feel quite... I don't know why, I feel like... When I think about you, I think about this moment. And it weren't even really a moment. It was... When... One sec, let me just... Oh, that's pinned. Right, it was when we were in Estonia in the little old lady's place where we stayed. Oh yeah. 
just sat talking in that room when it was boiling. It was like 300 degrees. Oh, God, it was ridiculous. About minus four outside, about 400 degrees. We were just laid on his beds there, just chatting. And I just, I don't know, at that moment, I just felt just really happy. Yeah. And I, you know what? This is. I'm going to make a video about this at some point, but I've been through a lot of shit over these last five years. Right? outside of YouTube, like nothing to do with YouTube. And if it weren't for him and it weren't for the channel, God knows where I'd be and what I'd be doing now because I don't think I'd be in a very good place or I'd probably be in a box or something like that. So I need to, without getting all emotional, I need to say thank you for that as well because it has been shit, hasn't it? There's been a lot, a lot of shit gone off. And now because of Andy, Sue and another certain person who knows who, I, who I'm talking about, I'm in a very, very good place, so thank you. I don't want to talk about it anymore now because I've gone really weird. Um, <laughs> so, um, oh, dear. Um, thank you so much for the tickets. Um, let's see. Chernobyl, Chernobyl trip. For a start, it's full of Russians at the moment. Yeah, it's not very really safe, is it? No. Do you have a favourite comedian? Yes. You do. I'm not I've, got, I've got a couple. I'm not bothered. I can't remember his name now, which is not good, is it? Mm. Obviously, I like Peter Kay and Gavin Delaney is one of my favourite comedians. I think you mentioned him before, I don't know who he is. So, um, that's all right. One of my favourite is Mosty Manor. Yeah, that was a good video as well. I think the bonding moment was when, unfortunately, Matt had the accident and tried his best to help. He couldn't. What? What? When I had an accident, I couldn't help. Oh, when I fucking did my ribs. Oh, yeah. How bad were that? That was really bad. I, I don't, how did I get through that window? God knows. I got fucking four cracked ribs. And I, I still managed still, to... Still went through it. Yeah, yeah, still got through a window. But you, I... At that point, I don't know what... If I was in your position, what I would have done or what I could have done. I don't feel like there was anything that you could have done. No. You couldn't have picked me up or... There was the time when you almost died as well, like literally just around the corner from here. Not far away, is it, is it at all? Oh, no. Um, so we're climbing up these... Oh, one sec. Oh, thank you. Uh, from Tess, I think it was. I didn't see that come through properly. Um, yeah, so we did a thing where we climbed over this fence to get somewhere. Um, I love you too. Um, we climbed over the fence to get somewhere and we were fine then we came back the same way and there was like a tri spike fence and I said to it'd been raining hadn't it and I said to yeah. you don't just be careful because you're gonna slip and you it's normally the other way around it's me that would do that not you and so he went up and just as he got to the top and about to push off to go over the top he slipped and the three spikes I could see him were going straight for the side of his neck and he managed to somehow like twist his body and it went into your arm, didn't it? Your left arm. It's down there. Is it still there? I've got a bit of scar. Oh, oh yeah, I can see it. So it like punctured his arm there. But if that had been your neck there, you'd have been dead. 100%. It would either have been your, your vein or your windpipe or something like that. Totally give it to me. Oh. oh, yeah, you did. Still that good funny? Yeah. Um, I think one of the funniest ones that I can remember is that cow shit. Oh, yeah. That. Which one? There was the the, the the very first one. The first one at um, Napleton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a that funny video. Hilarious. Yeah, even though we didn't get in, it was like I got stuck in the hole, then I got, um, we got stuck in shit, and <clears throat> we were just laughing our oh, heads yeah. off. That were really good. Um, I said, I can say I've gone through a lot of shit in my life, and to say anyone's gone through a lot of crap. Uh, things do get better, just need to find some to talk to. Yeah, and that's it. Although, actually, we never really talked about any problems. I just knew you were there if I needed you. But you knew to shut up and just leave me you to tell it. Leave me to it. Yeah. If you want to tell me, tell me. If you don't, that's it. That's respect. It. Yeah. And we've, that's partly why we've got this relationship, because we know we've got each other's back. I'm fucking horrible to you. I'm nasty to you all the time and I shout at you and stuff like that. And you're a dopey fuck and you don't do what you're supposed to half the time, but you mean well. But we, we've oh. both got our faults. We both do things wrong, but we both get each other and we know exactly when. Oh, thank you very much, Tim. Tim Snow. 
um, yeah, we know we know when we can get away with things or when we should back off or when we need to ask if something's up or whatever. It just is what it is. Same with Sue, right? Obviously, you don't see Sue, but we talk to Sue all the time and we know when we need to just leave her be if there's an issue or if, if like... She knows we need it if we need it. Yeah, and other way around, she helps she us. us. Like, when I were badly with COVID, she sent me, like, loads of food through and things like that and look, we just look after each other and that's how it yeah, should be. Um, <laughs> You should do a clap video with Mr. Biffo from Digitizer. Your humour would be work great. You need to train him on urban exploring now. I'll have to have a look into who that is. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Um, hide and seek in Italy was the best. I, we need to do another hide and seek. I really did enjoy that. I'm thinking we've got these two morph suits now. We do hide and seek in morph suits next time. But I don't know where. We need to do it somewhere good. So, Marrakesh. <gasps> The streets in Marrakech, it's like a fucking maze. You got lynched. Well, probably, you're running around in a big pink thing going, Oh yeah! We'd get lynched. We'd get fucking, yeah, you'd have your hands chopped off. Oh, that's steel, innit? You'd have your knob well, chopped off. We'd get, we'd get absolutely yeah. lynched. We'd be beheaded. What song would you say best describes Finders Beepers? Oh, God. Um, the songs I associate with us because of... You know what else? Yeah. Um, well, that was a good question, that. I don't know. I think you have to leave us with that one because I can't think off the top of my head. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. No. Well, that's what just went to my head. I'm surprised you didn't think of YMCA. No. Balls. Um, I like that you don't do places that other uh, uh, people have done a thousand times. Sometimes it's impossible not to do places that people have done. Because there is only a limited amount of places out there. However, we do try and go to some places that other people haven't done or we'll go abroad to make sure that there's fresh content on there. Um, Proclaim us 500 miles. I like that song. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Um, I'm new here. I've just binge watched all your videos. Tanya, if you haven't had a chance, get over to the second, the third, and the fourth channel because there's more stuff out there. And you know what? Everybody that I've spoken to have said, oh, I've watched all your videos. Bet you haven't. Bet you any money you haven't. Yeah. Um, because they're not all in the playlists for a start. There's probably 150 missing out of the playlists. And YouTube seems to hide our videos. I don't know why. They hide some of the videos. Um... Uh, never laughed so hard when security was looking for you and Matt fell in the moat. Oh, yeah. The moat? Wait, look, Lake. 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 Lake? What's that big mansion house thing that was it weren't abandoned? Somebody oh, sent us. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think, I couldn't think what he meant. It's because it, I'd got moat in my head. Um, yeah, I've had some scrapes though, haven't I? Like falling off that thing with a helicopter. Yeah. I do. Oh. I've seen all the vids, been here from the start. Yeah, no, if you've been here from the start, yeah, you will have. Seen them. Some of them are now unable to be watched anymore. We've privated some of them. Um, the horse poo video is privated. Is it? Yeah. Oh. I'm like, oh, oh, I think it might be a Patreon only video now, that. Not sure. We do do that sometimes. Um, hi, guys, I've just. In the past few weeks, started binge watching your channel. My dad told me about you guys, and I'm hooked. Not far from you, I'm in Bradford. Love the content. One of our favourite explorers near Bradford. Um, Asylum. Oh, yeah. Not we don't talk asylum. about that anymore, do we? Yeah, did I tell you that somebody had emailed me about it? Lives there. That lived there. They yeah. want us to go. Oh, no, I don't know if they want us to go, but I thought they wanted some photos of when we went. Yeah. And I've asked if we can go. And have a look. I want to go and have a look round. And that, someone's put, what's the scariest, spookiest place you've ever been to? That was a scary, spooky place, definitely. Uh, that's, what's it called? High Roads High Asylum. Roads. Yeah. Um, the fourth channel, right, so there is Beeper Bits, which is the fourth channel. The third channel is Beeper Bounce Back. Beeper Beef is the second channel. And Finders Beeper's History Seekers, as you know, because you're on it, is the first one. Power Station, we almost did a Power Station the other day, didn't we? Yeah. The problem we've got at the moment is our torches are fucking up. We need some new torches and they're like 130 quid each. So we do need to crack on and get some. Um, 
We'll be seeing you guys on the 7th, so excited. Yeah, Xavier, it's going to be a good night. It definitely is. Like I said, there is a bit of a structure to it where we're probably going to do some like sit-down stuff at the beginning because we'll be doing the live stream. Um, I've got the drinking game I want to do with you. It's not looking nothing bad. It never is. It's only three drinks. Yeah, what is it? You're going to be drink three drinks. Shandy, baby sham, and no, they're all, all the same. All the same, and they're all like I don't. Know, it's a spirit of your choice. You can choose what spirit it is. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, three spirits, and I get three half pints. And I'm going to try and drink my three half pints. Oh, I've seen this one. Oh fuck! Shit! You've told me about this oh, one. Oh fuck, have I? Yes, oh, you have. Bastard! It can't be done. What? It oh. can. It can be done. Well, well, we'll talk about that, and I might have to do it with someone else. Hey, have you spoken to such and such and such and such? Oh, such and such and such and such. Is that like sooty and sweet? Um, the one... <laughs> oh, no, I'll keep finding stuff all over. Um, the one with... That's originally from Elsica. Yeah. Yeah. And the one... Who lives in a bin? Yeah. Yeah, have you spoken to them? Um, TC today. Oh, fucking hell. I've just tried my hardest not to mention either of the names. <laughs> and you just go, oh, yeah, I spoke to TC earlier. Oh, now he messaged me. Oh. Other one, no. Oh, okay. Um, Matt, is there a limit on PayPal how much money people can send? Uh, as getting some bits and bobs for a box opening around Christmas and Andy plus chunk of well-deserved money for new equipment. Oh, thank you. No, you can send what you want. Send, send like, remortgage my house. No, that makes no sense. Pay off my mortgage, if you want. Did you ever do the underground tunnels in Edinburgh? Edinburgh? What, Edinburgh, then? Yeah. What, why did you call it Edinburgh? It's Edinburgh. Where does it say it? Oh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. No, um, I think... Um, um, Fighter's just done it. Yeah, overnight. I've I've done it like on my stag do. My daughter's done it. Back in 1927. I, didn't I tell you you to tell your daughter to yeah. do it? Yeah, I thought so. so. Did, well, she did the uh, thingy trail thing. Yeah, like you go around the ghost trail, the the graveyards and the pubs and stuff yeah. like that, and then you end up that we did that, but then we ended up in the catacombs. Yeah. Um, Yes, we have. We wanted to go across to America and do explores, but not at the moment. We're going to have to wait till you go full time before we can do stuff like that, I think. Yeah, because it's so, not a few days, is it? No, that's it. We want to be able to do it properly. There's no point going for four or five days to America, is there, when it's going to take you two days and you're going to have jet lag for two of them as well. It's two weeks, I so, think. Uh, have you got a PO box or anything? Yes, we have, Kyra. I will send you that. It's our officers, so yeah, we can, we can receive anything. So if you do want to send anything, we will be having another box opening live stream probably the end of next month sometime. So if you want to send some stuff in, you can. Do you want the address? Um, it's what? that. Oh, that's not very helpful. <laughs> so why don't you do, is that a photo? That's probably oh, a photo. Yeah. Right. Um, what else? Right, it's half past, so we're about done, but feel like there's loads more to talk about. We might have to pick up some more stuff on the live stream when we're in Hillsborough. Yeah. Some more memories. So if you've got anything you want to ask us, want to ask us, if you've got anything you want to ask us um, on the live stream next time, there will be a lot of stuff we want to talk about anyway. Um, please, please, please just drop us a message on Facebook, Instagram, matt at findersbeepers.co.uk. Anything you want, any way of getting in touch with us, send us a message, ask us a question. We might not use it, we might not have enough time, but if we do, we will. Um, get your tickets. Um, they, it's next, not this Saturday, coming the Saturday Seventh. after, 7th of May, in Hillsborough, Sheffield, uh, 7 till 11. However, we will be going out drink for drinks afterwards in Sheffield, and you're more than welcome to tag along and come with us. For an hour, um, just for an hour. Well, yeah, come, whatever you want. Uh, a couple of people have got... Um, hotels in the centre of Sheffield so they said oh can we just so because we don't know the area can we tag along and go to our hotel I don't even book mine yet I know to get your sort of innit really oh keep forgetting saying that I think what's the date 30th payment comes out for mine there's no fecking money in bank so <laughs> well, this is all fun Um, yeah so 
yeah, there's plenty of, there's still plenty of time to get your tickets because, like I said, up until Friday we'll post them. After Friday we'll just give them you on the door. Um, like I said, any more questions you've got, don't write them on here now because we're not going to have to answer them. But if you have got any that you want answering, just find one of their outlets to do it. You can buy merch on the night. You can buy chip butties and pints and all sorts on the night. You can buy us a pint on the night. You can do what you want, really, as long as it doesn't cause any damage to the place and we don't get fined or anything yeah, like that. A massive bill at the end of the night. We yeah. don't want any fighting or anything. That would be ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, but get over to finderspeepers.co.uk slash shop for your tickets. And um, have you seen that the price of the hotels have suddenly shot up? Yes. Yeah. I've noticed Definitely. that as well. I should have booked mine like two months ago when they were like Same. 50 quid. Same. I never, never did. It is what it is. Right, so we'll leave it there and we will see you very soon. I'm going to have to go around there to turn it off as usual so Andy can speak to you. Yeah, so we'll see you on the 7th if you go in. If not, we'll see you on the live feed. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I hope it's been quite... We're going to say tame one, but it's not been really tame, it's has it? started off all right, and it's just got a bit quiet afterwards. But it's nice to look back at stuff and get a bit emotional while we're doing it. Yeah, so thank you for joining the birthday party. We'll see you soon. I've not ended it yet. Bye.